y'all welcome back to my channel i am jess with jess's magical memoirs and today i have my july lineup video for you guys so if you want to see what i'm digging into for planners starting in july this year 2023 stick around because that's coming up right now <laughs> Hey Planny fam, welcome back to my channel. And like I said today, we're going to be going through my July planner lineup. I am digging into a whole new stack of planners. I can't believe it. And I'm really hoping this helps. As you guys know, I have been struggling with my planning for a while now. I don't think it's been a secret. I've talked about it many times now in past videos and my mental health also hasn't been too great. I've been dealing with a lot of migraines again as well. So my brain is just not functioning the way it used to. And I'm really trying to plan differently so that I don't lose any more momentum. I feel like my motivation with planning has kind of dipped a bit over the last month, month and a half. I feel like I've lost my mojo, um, lost my oomph a little bit, I guess you could say. And I'm really trying to not let that happen because it is something that I truly enjoy doing and I don't want to stop doing it. I just want to be able to do it in a way that still benefits and is functional for me. So as you can see, I have a really big stack here in front of me, uh, specifically one, two, three, four, five, six planners here, all brand new. You guys haven't seen them. Well, you might have seen them in a haul video, but you haven't seen me use these at all in any way, shape, or form. I think what I'm gonna do is go through them categorically. So show you what I'm using for specific things and just show those planners together. We'll probably start with my work planners and my to-go planner, and then we'll dive into my journaling and like my catch-all functional planners. I think that's how we're gonna do this. So I am going to move this stack out of the way, and I think we'll start with the to-go planner. All right, y'all, this is my newest planner to my collection and I am obsessed with it. So I have been trying to get really, like really better at planning on the go, using a planner in the car and at appointments and for uh, spending tracking. And I've really been slacking on this just because, I don't know, like I have a mini that I've been using. It's a vertical and it's like the 90s one. It's really cute, but I have been missing Squad Girls so much, and I just love the color palette in this, and I feel like I'm kind of heading into like a newer phase in my life where I'm like liking like colorful but also softer colors. I'm not sure, but either way, I digress. I finally have like a little car clear pouch that I'm going to be putting this in. A few other essentials for the car, and I am going to keep this housed in my car. So if I am running into the market or if I am going into a doctor's office where I know I'm going to have to schedule a second appointment, it'll come in with me and I'm just going to keep it in the car. So when it's time to plan in my catch-all, I know where it is at all times. It'll be in the same spot. I can grab it, pull from it as needed, and so on. So this is the new Love Every Season Squad Goals Mini horizontal planner. This is a 12 month planner. It starts in July and it goes through June. So that's kind of the only negative. That's the only downfall to this planner, but look at how pretty she is. Look at these discs. A stop and smell the wildflowers. It's so cute. I love like down here, how they're like in the flowers with the butterflies. It's just so cute. I'm going to go ahead and open her up. Hopefully you guys can see this. I have you zoomed in. So I'm just trying to keep it in frame. All right, so inside cover is a purple checkerboard, like hand-drawn checkerboard pattern. It's really, really cute. It's like doodly. And then hello, this mini happy planner belongs to. This is like a very soft blue. And then here you have your overview calendar. I kind of like how they included some Christmas greenery in there. That's really cute because this is a seasonal planner. And then you have your tiny little mini overview. I really love this so cute your perpetual calendar and it's like a soft pink with the colored dots down the spine and that goes again through till june and then here we have our first currently page july 2023 priorities important and take note 
I don't usually use these pages, especially for like on the go. I probably won't use that, but it is really cute. This is our first divider with like that checkerboard pattern and the stamps. All right, and then we get into our first monthly. She's so cute. So you guys, my to-go planner is strictly functional. There's gonna be no stickers in this, which is another reason why I really wanted to get this one. It has some love in it. And when I what I mean when I say that is there's just pictures and drawings in here. It's still not too much where there's plenty of space to write, but enough to be in there to not look make the spread look boring. You know what I mean? In the monthly section, I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to use it yet. I, I might just strictly use this for the weekly spread, but I feel like maybe what I could use this for is when I'm at a doctor's office and I'm pre-planning an appointment, I can go ahead and put it in. I think that's what I might use that for. And then when we flip to the weekly, this is what the weeklies look like. You have the colored lines. So see what I mean? It has a little bit of pizzazz to it. And again, with those dots, those colored dots are down the spine. But when we get to the weeks, then these will have not just the appointments, but it'll be what I spent that day. So it's pretty much what this, what this planner is going to be for. I'm still struggling with my budget planning. I really am trying to get better. It's the intention is there. It's just the execution <laughs> needs a little bit more work. And then we just flip through. You have that quote on the third week. And then we get to, oh, we have an extra week in July, I guess. And then we get to August, sunshine and happy times. Look how cute. She's chilling with her toucan and her lemur. Currently Paige, let's see if it changes up. Looks like it's the same. Was there a toucan in July too? Let's look. There was, okay. So these two monthlies are the same and then the weeklies are the same as well. So September divider. Okay, so now we have it, it's changing up a little bit. Our colorway, leaves are falling, fall is calling. I love that, they're so cute. Look how cute they are. So yeah, now we have a little kitty cat. She's so sweet in the mushrooms. And now we have different color lines. See what I mean, you guys? Obsessed, it's so cute. It's wicked cute. Now, if I was like putting stickers and like going crazy decorative in this, I wouldn't want this. But because I'm not, this is exactly what I need. Third quote, it's different. And now October, so same colorway, but just different divider. And there, there they are. So this is adorable. So it looks like it goes by season instead of holiday, which I can super appreciate. I really like that. It's not like October's Halloween and you know what I mean? Yeah, so November, same colorway because we're still in the fall. I just want to read books and take naps. <laughs> Look at how sweet. Yep, perfect. All right, and then we'll go to December. And now we're in our Christmas colorway. Merry and bright. Oh, look at the little snowman. Love him. The little gift. So cute. And now we have that wintry color palette. We've got January. We've got the holly. Same thing. And then February. Same thing. Time for snowmen and snow angels. That's cute. All right, let's see what March is. So now we've got spring and we have the spring colorway. Spring is in the air. So this one is a little bit similar to the first one, but more gentle with the colors. Really cute. And then there's our colorway for the weekly, the weekly lines. I love it. April is flowers. May, again, stop and smell the wildflowers. That same colorway. And then the last month is June. And we go back to our summer theme. Every summer has a story. Yep. I love this so much. It's so cute. I think it's going to be perfect. I'm really hoping that it motivates me to use it more. I was using the vertical line for spending tracking for so long, but I kind of like this better. I get a fuller space. There's lines in there to help make it look a little neater. There's our back note page. It's like a soft pink. And then the same inside cover. Ooh, we've got some stuff on here. The same inside cover as the front. And then the back has the same picture on the back, just without the girls and no foil. That's so pretty. I love this so much. I cannot wait to use it. I'm really hoping it helps me. 
All right, so next up for my lineup are my work planners. So I have two different planners here. I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all and be super transparent. I have not touched my work planners that I picked for the beginning of this year. I always start off strong at the beginning of the year and then depending on what goes on mentally, it kind of controls my habits after that. Um, I really am trying to be better at mind over matter, less being in my feelings and more being intentional with physicality things, even though it, technically that's not as important as my emotional state. But I almost wonder if slacking is causing my emotional state to be worse, if that makes any sense. It's almost like a vicious circle. <laughs> with that being said, I have picked out some new planners and an extra one to do work stuff from home. As of right now, you guys, I do this, I do YouTube, but I want to try to be more intentional with it, post more frequently, and be able to bring in a more steadier income. I'm barely making any money from it right now, but I really need it to do more, which means I need to do more. I also have a couple of brand ambassador accounts that I need to, you know, post certain stories to to social medias. I have a TikTok that I run that I'm trying to grow. So like all of those things, it's basically for work from home and social media stuff. I don't have a physical job at the moment. And if I ever get one, then maybe one of these planners can be for that or I can add a backup into the mix. But for right now, I'm just gonna stick to these two planners to serve the purposes that I need it to. So the first planner that I have is the Happy Planner Horizontal Layout, and this is a skinny classic. So this is the Smiley Face Classic Horizontal Layout. This was released in the fall release, I believe, not spring. Or maybe it was spring. I'm not sure if it was the fall release or the spring release, but this is a skinny classic, and the front cover is just a bunch of gold smiley faces and like winky faces with the yellow discs. But I love the inside of this planner. The inside is where the magic happens. So you have this really cool retro vibes interior with almost like a muted pink and gray uh, checker pattern. And then this is like a yellowy color with two different shades of yellow. And it just has like the little retro doodles on the front. And then in the Skinny Classic, you get a calendar like overview, but nothing to like write in it with. It's just so you can see what day what date falls on which days basically and then for the currently page it's just a note page in the skinny classics okay so this must have been a spring release because it starts in july one happy life and then we get to our this is what i call the currently calendar page so you have the monthly calendar you have your priorities important and then this is basically like your calendar, your monthly calendar where you can input certain things. So the skinny classic specifically is going to be for like what I'm, what I want to release, what I'm scheduling, that kind of thing. It's, this is more of like the catch all, so to speak. Then here is your, it's very clean and simple because I, you know, it would be nice to be able to throw in some stickers and make it look a little bit nice some weeks. It may not be all the time, but I wanted a clean slate. I wanted something very neutral. So if I did want to put stickers in and decorate a little bit, I can. Um, but this is a little bit different than the older Skinny Classics we've seen. This one is literally just a line, a very simple thin line dividing the sections. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of the week. And then you get an extra note box area right here. And this is basically what all of the interiors are going to look like, all your weekly pages. All right. And then we get to August. And again, the currently the currently page is really a notes page in this, in these planners. Go the extra smile. Really cute. I really love the dividers in this. And then again, same thing every week. I believe it's polka dots every week, right? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just flip through really quick. Today be the reason someone else smiles. October, choose happy. I love this one. This one's so cute. So again, very neutral. This reminds me of face from Nickelodeon. <laughs> just saying. All the little smiley faces like on the front cover. January, today is a good day to have a good day. February, smile, shine, and take it one day at a time. That's cute. More smiley faces, just all yellow. April, find your happy. May, spread some happy today. And then our last month, June, it ends in June. And it's another face with the heart eyes. 
And then our back notes page is really cute. It says take note and the spine is like that yellow checkerboard from the front and then just dotted line. And then the back is the same smiley faces. They're just tan. There's no gold foil. So again, this is going to be kind of like my work catch all. The thing where everything goes, where I plan out what's going up or what I'm scheduling or what I'm recording and so on and so forth on specific days and dates and things like that. So now we can bring in the monthly layout that I'm gonna be using for work as well. This is from the new Squaw Girls line. It came out, that mini one that I showed you I'm using for to-go and spending tracking. Uh, this is from the same collection and this is the classic monthly. And it's all called This Is Your Year because it's all seasonal. The purpose of me using the classic monthly is going to be for details, social media details. So YouTube, I, I'm trying to brainstorm different videos I wanna do for the month. And in the classic monthly, they have a note section and then they also have like a goals overview, overview page every month. So this, and they, there's also a full calendar in these. So my plan for the monthly is to track my analytics in the monthly calendar section. Then in the monthly overview, uh, there's like priorities and goals. So I wanna like set some things for myself every month for like work related purposes. And this can even be for job hunting too, since I, I'm, I am trying to find a physical job, this can be added to that as well. And then the weeklies in the monthly are like to-do checklists. So I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna use it as like a daily checklist, or what I might do, and this is something that Planning with Bumble said she used to do, is actually use it to track my tags for my videos. Maybe I want to link a certain other video at a certain timestamp. I can put that in this. And then I can go back and when I'm uploading and editing, it's all right there for me. This is more of like detail specific. It's not a catch-all overview plan necessarily. So I'll, I'm gonna go into detail with that with you guys so you can see what I mean. Because I feel like a lot of people are doing social media work right now or working from home and this could be a great way for you to utilize a monthly layout. This is the front cover, absolutely obsessed with this. We've got some like plastic, like metallic-y gold or bronzy colored discs. It says this is your year in gold. You've got little Tukey up there. I love the green. I've been obsessed with green lately, so really cute. The inside of this is absolutely adorable. You have a very soft spring-like feel with all the butterflies. And same inside that soft blue as the mini horizontal that we just went through. This will most likely be the same as that planner as far as like the decorative aspects of it go. Because this is also going to be another very functional planner for me. I don't plan on using any stickers in this, which is why I was okay with getting a more colorful, fun planner. So here is your uh, years at a glance and you've got the lines. And then your perpetual calendar. Again, with that, those soft pink uh, highlights for the weekends. Okay, and then we get to your first currently page. This is also a July to June planner. Same currently page as the mini. So you've got the same colorway in that those summary colors, priorities, important, and take note. They kind of reiterate this in the monthly overview. You guys will see that in a minute. Uh, but it's nice to have. I might utilize this so somehow. Might being <laughs> the operative word there. So then we get into our July monthly. Same colorway and decorate decorations as the mini. So nothing new there. We've already seen all this. So this again, like I said, this is the calendar page for the monthly layouts. And what I'm planning on doing here is using this for analytical tracking. So every morning I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna check my analytics for the day or every night. I might go in and record at night because, or maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'll do it in the morning, one or the other. And I'll just go in and I will write um, specific facts for each platform, Instagram, TikTok, and then I'll write in how many followers I have and maybe like what my view count, like either what my view count was or like, what my audience reach was, something that shows like how I'm growing, but also how I'm how I'm doing, 
if that makes any sense. If you guys are social media people and you know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I mean. I don't go into crazy SEOs or I don't dive like huge into my analytics because I feel like it would drive me nuts. Another thing I could do is track how much a video like if whatever video I posted, how much I made for that video, but that's more of like an end of the month thing. So this is another thing I want to check and record, but mostly this is going to just be my follower count, my view count, how much I made for the day, that kind of thing. And that's going to go in here. And again, all functional, all pen. So this is the monthly overview I was telling you guys about. We have like this cute little area that has a cute quote in it. Then we have some habit tracking. I really do want to be intentional with this. I might do this for job hunting, you know, did, you know, apply to one job a day, you know what I mean? And check it off, check analytics to make sure I'm doing it. And then the details will go and that can be another one. I, I do a habit one, that kind of thing. I would like to set monthly, um, monthly goals for myself, whether it's like however many videos I post, or maybe I want to try and earn a, a certain amount of money that month whatever the goal is, that's what's going to go up here. The check it off area, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for yet. Originally, I was thinking of using it for like main things I want to accomplish with all of my social medias across the board. But then they also have the top priorities section here. I have to figure out how I want to use those areas. Note to self is just going to be something that I write down to encourage myself that month. And then I'm going to figure out what I want to put here. I have some ideas. I'm just not quite sure yet on how I want to execute them. This might be my brainstorm area. So what videos I want to record. And like, again, it's kind of like, kind of like just like a brain dump area. There is a notes page in the back though, where I could do that as well. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to put that yet, but I will, I'll figure it out. Essentially though, you can use this section for anything. You could use it for total monthly earned income. I can also like break it up into columns, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, how many reels did I post? How many shorts did I post? And how many just TikTok videos in general, because TikTok, that's all TikTok is. You know what I mean? Like divide it up in certain ways to show, you know, or I can go back and journal. This could be a great journaling section to like, ooh, I actually kind of like that. Or even over in this area right here, one of these two areas, I could journal how I did for the month. That's a good idea. I like that too. And then we get into the weekly section. So the weekly section is strictly just a daily task checklist. It's a to-do list. There's nothing else here. I think what I want to do is something that Planning with Bumble said she used to do. And that is she used this section for her YouTube videos to track what she's linking in each video. So whether it's a website, whether it's another video that she's doing. And then I literally can put like what video it is over the top and just use that as my checklist. And because this isn't dated, I don't necessarily have to use both weeks. You know what I mean? I just think it's a really good way to utilize this section. Um, even with details with Instagram, who did I tag? Was it for a brand account? Which brand account did I do for that video? That kind of thing. And then here are the notes pages. So some, some of the months you'll get two, in some of the months you only get one. It just depends. Um, but like I said, this is another area where you could track a lot of things or you could journal back here. You could do your budgeting back here, anything. You can use this for anything. And that's it. So that's basically my plan for this planner. We'll go ahead and flip through it even though it's the same as the mini. It'll be the same every every month. So there's no reason to, for me to go into details with it again. You guys have already seen it. But just so you get an idea. Oh, you know what we should check though? Let's see what yep, the doodles are for the monthly. This is cute. So this is your winter, your winter overlay for December, January, and February. Um, for your fall months, you're going to have the cat and the mushrooms. Oh, this is cute. I like that one. And your quote changes every month. It's not the same quote every month, right? And then March, we have the girls in the spring. We'll see what that monthly overview looks like. Oh, I love the green. It's pretty. Same thing. And then June, you're back to that, that summer, that summer look like it was in the beginning of the planner. Yep. So really, really cute. I'm really excited about this. 
I'm hoping it helps me more uh, to, to get more intentional with my social media and just trying to do more, just do more, <laughs> you know? And then that back cover is just the florals from the front without the, without the gold. So classic monthly layout and classic skinny horizontal layout for social media and at home work purposes. All right, y'all, the big one. <laughs> so this is a big twin loop, hard covered horizontal layout planner. This is the only big planner that is in my lineup starting in July. Now this is an 18 month calendar planner, which means it starts in July of 2023, but it goes all the way through December of 2024, which is really nice. This is not my catch all, however. This is going to be my new journaling planner. So, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I've been journaling in my passion planner for a while, and I really just lost motivation. I lost so much motivation with it. I, I don't know why, because I love my passion planner. I found that I was kind of struggling a little bit and really wanting a planner that I could that I it felt more like a notebook for journaling purposes and that's where this came in so this is the celestial elegance line I did a a uh, deeper flip through of this when I got the haul in so if you guys want to check out the full collection you can um, check out the link in the art card above or I'll put it in the description box as well and you can click on that when we're done but this line is beautiful it's very, it really touches with my like spiritual side. I love it so much. And I'm really hoping that I get back into journaling because I need to. It's really bad. I need to journal. So big horizontal layout. Always wonder in this like bronzy gold color. And it's got this like really cool like marbly cloud of smoke type look to it. Look at the inside y'all. Hopefully you guys can see this because it is a big, so it's harder to get into the frame. But it's got these little stardusts. It says hello on the side, which I thought was super cool. I don't use any of this in my journaling, but I'll just show you guys it really quick. Your overview and then the perpetual. I thought about using the perpetual calendar as like a word for the day, but I could always do that in the calendar section too. However, all right, hold on. Let's get through this first. So this is, and there's three pages because it's an 18 month. And then here is the first currently page. Look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. It has a little bit of decoration in it, but it's super neutral, enough to not like take away from things and so on and so forth. I used to do photo memory keeping in my currently pages a very long time ago. I've considered doing that for this. But because of, I have so many memories on my YouTube and in my phone and on Instagram, I don't really necessarily need to keep paper photos anymore, which is why I've kind of steered away from that. However, a while ago, I was doing habit tracking, like strict habit tracking. I'll show you guys really quick what I'm talking about. So this is uh, another similar, very similar, actually, <laughs> uh, planner to this one. This is a Happy Planner Twin uh, Classic, Twin Loop Classic. You can see it's it's beautiful. It's very similar to this one. It's got that same celestial vibes to it. However, this one is a vertical. And what I was doing, look how cute. What I was doing here is I was habit tracking. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't keep up with this because it it was really helping. Like in the beginning of the year, like I was like on this. Like I, I was doing so well. Like you can see I was sick, so I, I skipped a couple days, but like, look, y'all. I was obsessed with doing this. I was on my game. Like, I really, really was. I didn't do great with tracking my meals. I'm going to get better at it. That's what I want to use this monthly for. But look at y'all. I had so much fun with this. But then as you can see, I trailed off for a while. And then I was like back on my game a little bit. And then I trailed off again. So, and that was probably around, was that around March? Yeah, that's why. So I have habit tracking in here. And what I was doing is in the monthlies, I was tracking, let's go back to January so you guys can see. So you can see. 
So in the monthlies, I was tracking my food intake. I was really trying to see, like, am I really eating that poorly? Like, and on what days, you know, was I not feeling well? So then I would flip. I would flip to over here and I would have a health status section. So let me go to a full page so you guys can see what I mean. Good, lightheaded and migraine, anxiety, um, uneasy stomach because I have IBS problems. This day I had muscle aches and I was trying to see like, okay, what did I eat that day or the day before that could have caused this? It was really helping me regulate uh, my IBS and my migraines. And I want to get back to doing that. So I have a bigger area for this because as you can see, it was like really crushed. It was like really crunched. Sometimes like some days it was really hard. Like I got it in, but some days it was really hard to fit it in there. <laughs> so now I have a little bit more space for that. And then this is what I was doing on the currently pages for my habit tracking. So let's go back to that for a minute. Um, this one was set up a little bit different. It had like this, this space right here, which I actually really love. However, because this is a bigger one, what I have here will still fit in here. So this is a free printable from Passion Planner. It's a monthly habit tracking uh, box and you can have it printed out in three different sizes. It's free. You can get it off the Passion Planner website. All the Passion Planner links are down below in the description box if you're interested in those. And then in the priorities or goals section, so like this important area, I had like one little thing that I wanted to commit to myself or that I made a goal for for myself every month. So that's going to go here and I'm going to continue my monthly habits in this take note section. So I am basically combining my habit tracker planner with my journaling planner. And I thought about doing this before in the past, but I couldn't find a way that I, I'd be happy with it. And I think now I have finally found that. So that's the currently page. You have the plan for the monthly. And then we're going to get into our weekly. So the weekly is horizontal line and it's pretty neutral for the most part. I didn't realize when I bought this that it had these little like stardust things up top. So I'm not like a huge fan of that, but I'll get over it. I really love the size of this. I think for journaling wise and like setting it up, it's going to be really, really cute. There is a happy planner girl that I watch that does uh, horizontal planning often and she does such a beautiful job with her spreads. I'm always inspired by her and I'm hoping she's going to really help me out uh, with decorating purposes for this new planner. But then every week has a note section and here is my weekly from my habit tracking planner for the beginning of the year. And my thought here is in the notes section, I am going to habit track. A uh, passion planner has another habit tracker. It's like, it's this way. It goes this way. And I'm thinking of inputting it in every week and habit tracking my skincare routine every night and my health status. I think that's what I'm thinking. I might even track I don't, and I'm, what I might do is I might move my like laundry per day and my Disney meditation into that monthly, you know, cause there's plenty, you can see I have plenty of, a plenty of space to add other things I want to track for the day. I'm going to combine those, but I think weekly purposes, I really would like to track my skincare, my AM skincare routine, my PM skincare routine, and maybe my water intake. And then my health status. The health status might be a little bit difficult to do because it's like a daily thing. So either I will do like a weekly health status and say like how I was feeling this week. I could even just do my skincare routine on the other one and just strictly make this like my health status. The other thing I could do is use it as like a mood tracker. I'm going to figure out a way to do this. I will because I really want to keep tabs on my health. It's just I'm constantly changing. Um, you can see I don't often have very like good overall days. Um, this week was tough. This one, I had a bad cough and then I was sick. Bronchitis, congestion, better cough still. So like I was sick all week. And then with this one, this one we had a few better, more good days. So that was good, you know, but then I had some like more body soreness, headache, you know, so I have really bad weeks y'all. Like, look, this whole week I wasn't feeling good again. You know, so it's just important for me to see. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my body and I want to be able to continue to track that in a detailed way. So journaling, maybe some more habit tracking or just health status, health status info in here. I could put my health status every day, but then that makes it 
less functional and more harder to decorate. So I don't necessarily want to do that. The other thing I could do is put a big long sticker in every week and track my daily health that way. That could be a possibility too. Just use one long sticker box every week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like right at the top, health status. That could be another option too. We could do that too. Like I said, I'll figure it out, but that's my plan. So that is what it looks like every week. You do have a quote on the third, the third week. I like the font. And then we get to August and it's the same setup. It's very fancy. It's very pretty. It's very elegant. There will be many chapters in your life. Don't get lost in the one you're in now. It's like, I'm telling you guys, it's so inspirational. And this one's, I think, does this, did the other one have the moon? Yeah. Okay. It did. And it's just the same way every week. It doesn't change. September, be brave enough to dream. October, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. This one's really pretty. November, life is a beautiful and tough journey, but you keep going and you push through. You've already made it this far. Imagine what else you could do. I'm telling you the quotes in this, y'all. December, aim for the stars. January, enjoy the little things. For one day, you may look back and realize they were the big things. I gotta work on that. February, live by the sun, love by the moon. But you see what I mean, guys? Like, this is an awesome, this makes, this is going to make an awesome journaling planner. Like, for it, just, just the way that the wording is and how, like, calming and peaceful the planner is. I just love it. March, choose where your energy goes. April, live your dream. May, keep looking towards the stars with shimmering eyes. For the stars hold magic. And if you believe in that magic, anything is possible. This gives me Disney vibes. June, enjoy where you are now. July, I like this one. Don't compare yourself to others. There's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their time. I love that. August, look to the stars. September, start living your dreams. October, the world needs more of what you have. November, define your own success. Love that. And then December, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. I love that. It needs to be a quote for everybody. And then we get to our back notes page. So I'm going to bring back this habit tracker for a minute and show you guys. My back notes page in my habit tracker was my year in pixels. I'm so mad at myself that I scaled off on this. If I had done nothing else, I wish I had at least continued with this. So what I'm going to do, again, this is another free printout from the Passion Planner. You guys, if you haven't been on the Passion Planner website yet and dipped into their, their free printables, you're missing out. Like for real, you need to go there now and just see what they have. There's so much good stuff. So this is the Passion Planner uh, free printable year in pixels. I created my own key and I went in and um, did the months. I, I screwed up, so I had to wipe that out. But then you have one through the, the first through the 31st and you just go in and you fill in your colors. Uh, these I missed out and I couldn't remember what my my day was like, so I just crossed them out. But I am gonna take this in a bigger form and I'm gonna stick it right here. And this is gonna be my new year in pixels. So I'm basically combining my OG habit tracker planner with my journaling planner and I'm super stoked about it. I am really excited. I'm probably the most excited about this planner than anything else because I, one, I need it in my life. And two, it's it's gonna help me a lot. I really am feeling confident in that and I'm just excited to, to get started with it. I really am. All right, y'all. The moment you have been probably waiting for my catch-all planners. <laughs> so as you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, I have been planning in a big planner for quite a while now. And it brought me so much joy for so long but I'm ready to move I'll move away from it. I'm ready to get back into a classic size planner. I miss the size of it. And I also have a new way that I'm going to be planning my, my days. As you see here in front of me, I not only have a classic vertical layout planner from the Happy Planner, but I also have a new daily passion planner. 
I did a haul video on this and a flip through. If you guys didn't see it, I'll link it above in an iCard as well as down below in the description box. So you can go and check it out. I am creating a whole new system for myself uh, next month. And I want to explain to you guys a little bit. Like, obviously, I'll explain to you how it's going to work, but I also want to explain to you a little bit as to why. So one thing I've noticed with myself lately is I haven't been using my catch-up planner for my dailies, like my daily list, my tasks, my mundane things like I used to. I've really just been using it for decorative purposes and for appointments and major things going on, which is, which is fine. It's great. It's working. It's okay. But I don't want to say that it's helping me mentally because it's not. The purpose of me planning is to help my memory. It's to help keep me remembering things. It's so I don't forget and I have to check it. The thing with the weekly planners is you plan it at the beginning of the week. I fill in what I can and then I, I hardly ever check in on it. This is one reason why I miss the vertical lined planner. The vertical lined planner acted almost like a daily as well for myself. I would put in what was going on for the week and then I would go in that morning and write down just like a list of, of what I had to do that day. I would literally go in it every morning. It forced me to be more intentional with it, hence the daily passion planner. So this is my plan, y'all. My new catch-all vertical layout, classic sized planner, is going to be for appointments and bills. And then my daily passion planner, my little cutie patootie over here, is going to be my daily functional. There is an hourly layout in here. There is a brain dump section here. I can put whatever I want in there. I could do extra journaling. I could doodle. I could just do all stickers. If it's a super busy week and I have a lot of extra things I want in a super busy day and then there's a lot of things I want to notate, I can add extra boxes on the right hand side in that brain dump section. Then there's a to-do list for work and a to-do list for personal. And then there's even some self-care little prompts at the bottom. This is just something that I want in my life. It's going to force me to go into this every day. Plus, honestly, y'all, I just miss planning daily. I was going through my old daily layouts and looking back on old videos and old Instagram reels, and I miss doing them. Like, I just had fun with it. I, I had so many cute reels that I did for y'all uh, way back in the day with my, with my daily passion planner. Like, I wake up early and I just sit down in the calm and peace of the morning and I plan it and I record bits and pieces of that. And I feel like it's gonna help me overall in that area as well. So first I'm gonna go into my happy planner. So this is a classic vertical layout and this is the smiley face collection. This is the same collection as the classic, the skinny classic one that I showed you guys a little while ago that I'm gonna be using for work. This is the same line. We have these really pretty pastel, yellow discs love those the main cover today is a good day to have a good day with all those smiley faces and some gold foiling and then again with those like neutral retro vibes i just love this so much you have a black and white classic like grid paper looking and that same like yellowy muted yellow checkerboard pattern with those doodles for your front cover page. And this is also extremely neutral because y'all know my main catch-all planners are super decorative. So we have a neutral overview and then we have a neutral perpetual calendar. I tend to use these for like birthdays and vacations, like vacation plans. That's what I usually use them for in my catch-all. And then we have our currently page and we have our our first divider July. Oh, I don't know if I said this, but this is a 18 month planner, just like the um, the big was that we just went through for my journaling. So this goes from July of this year to December of 2024. This is our monthly calendar. The monthly calendar will stay pretty much the same as I've been doing, but I'm gonna be adding in bill tracking. And then here's the vertical. I just love it so much. It's so clean. It's super neutral. There's nothing crazy going on. I love that the lines are thin. It's just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. And what I'm going to do, like I said, it's going to be an appointment and activities base. And then on days where we have bills due, it'll have the bills due in there as well. And 
Recently, I have been keeping all of my appointments up top to create a more checklist version at the bottom of the planner. But because of this new way of doing things, I'm not doing that anymore. What I'm going to do is if there's an appointment in the morning, it's going in the morning. If there's an appointment or a thing going on at night, it's going in the bottom box. And it's going to be kind of like an hourly type setup, but without the hourly, if that makes sense. <laughs> If that makes any sense. So we've got neutral pages throughout the month. We have our quote in that third week. So on and so forth. And then we get into August. And every month is going to be the same. Go the extra smile. They're the same dividers as that skinny classic we went through, like I said. And it's polka dots every month as well. And that's my plan for this. I think it's going to be really cute. I love this one. Um, I don't have any plans for this area right now. I'm, I could do bills or like if there's a major thing going on, like December is Christmas, you know, Christmas at my mom's, you know what I mean? That could be a priority or like in September we have our Disney trip. So a priority could be Disney trip. I would like to try and utilize it more, but I'm not going to force myself to if I don't need to. January, today is a good day to have a good day. Okay, so, so far they're all the same dividers as the Skinny Classic all the way through till June. Oh, that one's different. Spread some happy today. The background's different, I think. I'm not sure. And here's June with the hard eyes. So now let's see what else we got. Always find time for the things that make you happy. Take time to make your soul happy. This is like a peachy, this is like peach color. September is the same as the cover of the Skinny Classic. Ooh, we have another one of these. Make someone smile. Do what brings you joy for November. And then December is another face. This one's winking. And then this is our back note page. It's so cute. Now, if I didn't want to do my mood, like my, my mood tracking in my other one, I probably would have put it in here. But because this isn't going to be something that I dig into too often, Whereas my journaling, it's every day. It's like it has to be a habitual thing. I need it to be a habitual thing. I'm keeping it in my journal. Plus, it's a bigger space, and I think it'll look cuter. And then there's the back cover. I am obsessed with this cover. It's it's so cute with, like, the bright highlighter yellow. Just adorable. So that is the classic vertical catch-all portion of my catch-all system, if that makes sense. <laughs> That is my plan for this. Like I said, spend, uh, not spend tracking, uh, bill tracking, like the bills that have to get paid and then appointments and like function, like functions, to do's, vacations, that kind of thing. And then this on top of it. So that is like a weekly thing. And then we have this, which is going to be more, which is going to be an everyday thing. Zoom you guys in. So again, like I said, uh, I'll link all of the details for this planner so you can see the full flip through but I'm going to go through it really quick with you guys anyway so this is a super pretty caramel color uh, my daily planners in the past have either been white or black I stick to neutral colors but I was obsessed with this color so this is what I got this is a small size I wanted something portable y'all the problem with a big planner being your catch-all is it's it's a pain in the butt to haul around the house even it's heavy and I just I, it just stayed in my room on my desk. That's where I record everything. And I wasn't bringing it into the living room with me to keep on top of it. I wasn't bringing it into the kitchen to keep on top of it. I wasn't bringing it out. Like when I go out, this makes it a lot more accessible and easy to lug around, so to speak. So a passion planner is very different. It's a binded book, basically. But the cover is like bendable. And you can push it flat open and in the beginning of a passion planner they give you all kinds of tips and tricks and like tools to help you navigate through the planner and how to use each day then you have a game like you have goals every month and I really love this so I'm going to go in and fill this out in July and then you have a perpetual calendar just like you do with the passion planner and then you have a monthly calendar I'm not sure if I'm going to use this uh, because I have my other one. And when I'm daily planning, I don't necessarily use this. 
One thing I thought about doing uh, with this one, since I'm not doing it in my journal, is I actually consider doing it like a daily word, almost like a mood tracker, like a daily mood tracker. So that possibility is still there. Um, I do like how it has like the places to go and then there's some like priority things you can put in here, kind of like the monthly planner for Happy Planner. And then every month you get like a self check-in. So you check in on yourself at the end of the month and you get a new game changer goal. And all of your months are in the front. In the front. And this is undated. So that's why there's no dates there. So you get all of that in the front and then at the end of the year, you get a, a self check-in and then you get a since you started this planner. So it's like when you finish the planner, you can go in and you can fill in these prompts, which I love. And then this is the daily. It's so cute. So as I said, you have an hourly schedule, which I've really been missing. Love this. Then you have your space of infinite possibility. This is what I was talking about. I could change it up every day. I could do whatever I want. It doesn't have to be the same thing all the time. You have a focus, you have a game, you have some game changer goals for the day. And then you have your personal checklist, your work checklist. This is a free space to grow. It's a great place to put a sticker or a quote, or maybe, maybe you want to journal in that section. You could do so much with that. And then here's your self care area. So like I said, that's why I consider like doing today in one word in my mood, and then I could transfer it to the monthly. I'm not sure yet. But you have that and today I learned best thing that happened and then self maintenance for the day. And I love having these. So this and this is what I do every day. You just go in and you do it. And I want to be super intentional with this. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. I'm sure I'll miss a day or two, but I am really excited to do this. And that's all it is all the way through. And then when you get to the back of the planner, if I can get there, you have a bunch of dot grid paper. So this is great for like, if I want a brain dump or if I want to put some pictures in from the year, that could be a good idea. Use this as like a little mini like photo passport area. That could be really fun too. Cause see, you get a bunch of them. There's a lot. And then the very back just says, congrats, time to celebrate. You've come so far and we are so proud of you because you finished the planner. And uh, these, all these planners get stickers included with them. So if you ever interested, you can use my affiliate link down below. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me get a little bit of money and it doesn't cost you guys a thing. I also have my code Jessica937. You can get 10% off your order on top of using that link. So it's just like your shopping regular. So if you guys are interested in any of these daily planners, they do have larger sizes and they have other colorways. So just something to keep in mind if this is what you might be looking for. And that's it. That's the daily planner. So that is my plan for my catch-all is to combine this with the use of the happy planner vertical layout. And I could not be more ready to change things up. So that's it y'all. That is my lineup for July, 2023 and going into uh, the, you know, through the rest of this year and into the beginning of 2024. And I am super excited about this. I am changing it up. I am changing it up big time. I think I told you guys, like, be ready. Things are going to get kind of crazy. <laughs> and they are. I'm really doing something very different. And am I nervous? Am I scared to kind of, like, redo my regimen? Yeah, of course I am. But when something's not working, I just have to tell myself, okay, it's time. It's time. It's not working. We need to do differently. And that's what this is. I feel like it's a little bit of a rebirth with my planning. I don't know why. Um, clearly, some things are staying the same. I'm not changing everything. But I am changing enough, I think, for you guys to see that I'm not the same mentally as I was when I began this planning journey. And I'm really excited to, to do some new stuff and to see how it goes. So... I would love to hear what your lineups are going to be like, what you're considering. What did you love about my lineup? Is there something that you took away from this that you're really excited about? Let me know anything down in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a really, I really take a lot of time in these lineup videos. They're super important to not only me, but for me to help you guys as well. And 
I just really hope you enjoyed them. So please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out my lineup video. I have lots more where these came from, as well as many other planning videos and Disney and lifestyle content as well. If that is stuff that you are interested in, please hit the subscribe button so you can follow along and don't forget that bell notification too, so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all so much. Happy planning and stay magical. Bye.